Greetings YouTube community, Side the Family Car Guy. I'm out here with the Z06. We're at Village Chevrolet in Wysadam, Minnesota. Doing a little bit of window shopping. Somebody just looks like is trading in a Cyber Gray uh, Z06. I think it's the 2011. It's got the splitter there, the carbon flash splitter. Uh, it's got the carbon flash. Um, side skirts which is which I really like I kind of like the pref I prefer the exposed carbon fiber but the carbon flash is nice yeah this is definitely an 11 and on the interior you can see it's really hard to see because of the rain but you can see the carbon the carbon fiber weave uh, on the center console with the leather stitching I really like that I like I like actually I actually really like this color um, yeah so something fun to do on a weekend you know do a little bit of window shopping. Uh, got a Grand Sport here. I wonder what year this is. 2013 Z16 Grand Sport. Got a... Uh, what year is this? C7. This is a 17 Grand Sport. Red convertible. Looking real good. And then, of course, what do we have over here? We have a black Z06. It's got the side skirts. Does not have the Z07 package, but it does have a splitter. A 19. Oh, this is a brand new one. Let's look at the sticker. 97445 I do actually like these wheels I actually would not get the chrome wheels just because I like the kind of the graphite finish just I just like that better I think chrome also if you if you for whatever reason scratch these wheels up to me uh, it shows a lot more than if you did if you scratch up a pair of like um, like other graphite wheels or the darker wheels that's an automatic if it was me, I would definitely get a six-speed or the or the seven-speed manual. But anyway, that's not really the topic of this video. The actual topic of this video So guys, the actual topic of this video is what's going on with the C4. So part of the reason why I'm not driving the C4 today and I got the Z out instead in this rain is because the C4 unfortunately has a couple of check engine lights going on. One of them is a misfire on cylinder number three, which is either gonna be spark plugs, plug wires, or an injector. So it's gonna be one of those three things. I am not really sure which. The car is due for plugs and wires anyway, so we need to get those done. It's almost the end of Corvette season in Minnesota anyway, so there you are. Went for a drive last weekend though, and I wanted to give you guys a, an update on the radiator situation we the cooling system is absolutely perfect now on the c4 i mean for a minute i thought it was running even maybe a little bit too cool when you're driving uh you're doing about 60 70 on the highway now in the c4 you cannot get the temp the coolant temperature gauge to go over a buck 70. i mean literally this thing will just stay pegged on a buck 70 the entire time Unless the car is sitting at a dead stop, a dead idle in a parking lot or something like that, then it will get up over 210, 215, 220, and then the high-speed fans will kick on and drive it back down to like 208, 207, whatever the, whatever the, the uh, pre-programmed cutoff speeds are. Uh, but yeah, when you're cruising on the highway, I mean, literally, I cannot get that thing to go over a buck seventy. Uh, I paid good money for the radiator. I bought the two-row uh, DeWitt Direct Fit. I, I spent a decent amount of money, paid about 500 I think it was, uh, at Eckler's. Uh, big shout out to Ecklers. Um, great inventory, great selection of uh, Corvette parts for all generations. Uh, even going back to the C1s and the C2s, so that's awesome. Um, so the radiator, absolute, absolute success. So I'm really excited about that. Unfortunately, like I said, the C4 is down right now because it's got that, and then it also has an EVAP system issue right now, which I actually bought a new EVAP canister and had it installed um but now it's throwing a code for that and uh so we're having some issues there and the check engine light started flashing 
when I drove it. I took it about a block away from the house the other day, thinking, ah, oh, you know, we'll drive and we'll get her dealt with. Nope. And that, to be fair, that was also before I pulled the codes as well, so I didn't know exactly what was going on. But whenever you get a flashing check engine light, you definitely want to stop and turn around and go back home and regroup for another day. So hence we're driving the Z. Definitely want to drive the Corvettes a little bit more. It's always it's always funny because at the end of every season, <laughs> I'm always thinking to myself, you know, like for example today, normally I would never drive the Z06 in the rain. I mean, I'm that I'm that guy. I, I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry for all the Corvette people out there and all the car people out there. Cars are meant to be driven. Blah blah. blah. Okay, this car. I'm sorry. I try not to drive it in the rain. But we're getting closer to the end of Corvette season here in Minnesota. It's you know early October. You never know when the weather's going to turn to snow and then you're going to be done, right? So you try to drive as much as you can. So this, for me, I was like, I, I got to do it. I got to make a video. I got to drive my car. Got to have a good time because we don't have too many of these days left. I did join a car club. That's the other news I want to tell you guys about. I will make another video about that later. But basically, uh, I did join a car club. We went on a cruise last weekend deep into Wisconsin. That was super fun. On the way back, unfortunately, is when I got the check engine light because I was driving the C4 so that's a bummer but uh, but I did do that also brake bias spring up update because I needed to get the car back quickly so I could um, take it on this cruise with my car club I did not get the brake bias spring done because it would not have been done in time so I'm, I'm sorry to all the people that were um, who had asked about that uh, we will still get to that but unfortunately um, we were not able to get to that before the before the uh, cruise with the club this weekend. So, um, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. Hopefully, we can get it done before the end of the season. Uh, but if not, we may have to wait till the spring, unfortunately. And but we'll see. We'll see. We'll, re we'll see where we end up with things. So I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, thanks for watching. I think that's probably going to do it for this video. I might throw in a couple pictures too. Um, but thanks for watching. Uh, please like, please share, please leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, we're going to try to do as much as we can before the end of the season. Like I said, I'll make another video about the car club itself. Um, but I'm just excited to get the Corvette out a few times before the end of the season. So we'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, have a blessed day. Uh, peace out. We'll see you in the next one.